Hello everyone and welcome to Watch Complications. I'm Brian. I'm kind of staring out the window. This is Friday the 13th. Today it's also the week that the coronavirus has hit the U.S. pretty hard and everything started closing this week. So who knows what this will be looked uh, you know, back on as in the future, even a month or you know, a year from now, people looking at this video. But apparently I'm going to be working remotely for the next month. Now that has some pros and cons about it. It makes uh, the teaching stuff a little bit more interesting. But at the same time, it means I have a little more time at home to work on watch stuff. It's a quick little strap review video for some new straps from the micro brand Vario based out of Singapore. I've reviewed their Silver Empire watch before. That'll be linked in the video. And I'll have some more information in the description below along with a blog post and all that good stuff. But said I'd take a look at them. I've been wearing them for about a week and got some insight into those straps for you today. Just one hint of an upcoming review. Look at this. I got a Seiko Thermos. I've got an Irish coffee. That's the only hint you're getting. Okay, it also says massage. Also, since my spring break got extended by a week and I've got that little bit of extra time, I'm going to be able to play with my dials a little bit sooner than I thought. And so here's the next project you're going to see, which is water slide decal paper. I have this for metal surfaces, but also for like plastics and other sort of more absorbent surfaces. I've got a laser printer and I've seen other videos and another dial um, making projects online that use decal paper. And it's something I've wanted to try. What I haven't seen it done on is 3D printed dials, which is of course one of the areas that I work in. So I'm gonna be testing that out this week. I'm gonna walk you through the 2D vector software I use to create a dial design. We'll print it out. We'll see how it does on 3D printed dials. And then I also have the decals that also work on metal, which you have to bake in the oven a little bit to get them nice and secure. And then we'll just see what they kind of look like, how they compare to each other. You've seen some of that stuff before, perhaps if you're into the Making Custom Dials series, but that's coming really soon. Of course, with the wrist check, I'm wearing one of these straps, the single piece on my Chris Reward C65 Vintage in Black PVD. This watch is several years old, uh, but I love it. Regular wear. Today is Friday the 13th. So yeah, we'll take an up close look at this on several different watches. I've kind of come to the realization, at least with the colors that I got with these straps, that black dials are the best. The straps are Cordura, which is a heavy duty nylon. They've got some cotton thrown in for comfort, but pretty durable straps would last a long time, fairly comfortable. I'll talk the pros and the cons. There's a single piece and a two piece, and I've got some variety to show there. So let's talk about these straps. I will also remind everyone that as of the next video you're going to see, better lighting. Those are on the way. I'm going to have different backdrop for this table, and then I'm going to have a room set up that's hopefully looking different and closer to what I would like to have for my video space. So this is the Cordura strap, one of them. Uh, the other one is on my wrist. Like I said, it was on my Christopher Ward C65. The one on my wrist is the single piece. And then on one of my 10.6 watches called Tea Party, I have the two-piece Cordura strap. The brand name is etched into the buckle. And the same on this. Of course, these move pretty easy back and forth, so you can keep those how you want. Let's start with some of the pros. And I'll begin with the fact that Vario is a pretty well-established micro brand at this point with both straps and watches. So you can trust that you're going to get a good product generally whenever you get something from Vario. So it's not a micro brand or a new startup that you're taking a chance with. You're going to get a good quality product whenever you get one of their straps or or one of their watches, which I really like. These straps are Cordura, which is a very heavy duty, durable nylon. Again, there's a surface layer of cotton, I believe, just to kind of make it a little bit more comfortable, particularly on the wrist. You can see that the, uh, the holes punched here have metal rings again, sort of giving it that durable look and so that the the cloth the material it's really a fabric stays together and doesn't start to fray over time where those holes are cut the two straps i was sent were a 22 millimeter two piece in black this is the cordura leather so it has leather top and bottom sewn around the nylon next to the lugs it's entirely nylon but it's got the leather tips there and this one's again 22 millimeter this is two piece the one on my wrist is a 20 millimeter single piece and i'll take it off and show it to you in a second 
and then the other size they have is 24 millimeter. So both of these strap styles, the single and the, and the double, come in 20, 22, and 24, and a variety of colors. So I have the black, and then I have this sort of khaki collar. The people who watch my reviews regularly or the people that send me stuff know I'm going to give my honest opinion whether things I like and don't like. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the two-piece 22 millimeter strap. I am a big fan of the 20 millimeter single piece. And let me give you some of the reasoning behind that. So this is going to be a mixture of pros and cons as I discuss this. The single feels a lot better. And I don't know if it's an artifact of it being single piece. I don't know if it's an artifact of it being a 20 millimeter as opposed to 22 millimeter. But the single piece, you see it wrapped underneath the spring bars there, is a lot more comfortable and flexible from the start. Of course, these will get more broken in and comfortable over time. But the 22 millimeter two piece was certainly a lot more stiff less comfortable on the rest from the get-go, whereas this just feels natural and it's just extremely more flexible than, than the two-piece. What that translates to is it's much easier to get this one on and off the wrist than this one. One of the drawbacks with a two-piece strap of any kind, but you know, particularly one that is leather close to the lugs where it's going to be a little bit thicker, is finding a case that has a lug design that allows for easily putting the straps on the watch and also not giving too much wear. You can see as the straps move back and forth, it's going to have some wear on the leather, how that'll do over time. When I was thinking about, well, what watches am I going to try these straps on? There was only, I had a few ideas, but then there was really only one that would fit fairly easily and not cause too much wear on the straps. And that was this one of, of my own. This case is from Germany. And this is nice that this two piece has the quick release spring bars, but because the ends of the straps are fairly thick with that leather being sewn around the canvas, then it just adds a lot of extra height here. And so there's not a lot of clearance between the spring bars where they have to be attached and the edge of the case. And so it was hard to find a case with lugs that extended far enough from the case so this would fit comfortably. So I had a hard time actually getting these even pushed. You gotta push pretty hard to get these in place so that's one of the drawbacks with a two-piece strap. Again, of any kind that's not made for a specific lug design or watch or that isn't curved at all, this might be work a little bit better for more cases if these were curved spring bars. So spring bar clearance, that's one of the particular issues with this two-piece strap. Another thing on this 22 millimeter two-piece is that the tolerances are crazy tight, which you might think, well, that's really good. What that leads to is it's harder to get the strap on and off. So doing it like this with it in front of my face in two hands, it's a little bit easier. But even this, it's hard to squeeze it between the loops. And you can see the strap kind of buckles a little bit. That's because it's just a hair too wide for the keepers. And so trying to put that on your wrist can be a little bit difficult. And of course, you don't want to drop your watch, so you've got to kind of press against your leg a little bit. But it's actually kind of difficult to put this on and off really have to work at it. The tongue here is also quite short and what that means is whenever you're putting it on and stiff because this strap isn't broken in too much yet but you've got to kind of continually have that pulled back and then once you have it in one of the holes taking it off is also a little bit of an issue. You, you've got to pull and push it the right way and then if you're taking it off of your wrist it's hard to take it off without it interfering again in another one of the spots. Now, you might think, well, that looks kind of strange. Or, that looks kind of strange when you're doing it in front of you. Yeah, it's it's pretty difficult, actually, when you're trying to do this on your wrist. You can imagine doing this with one hand, holding it against your uh, body in some way. This can be pretty hard to, to put on. So that's the downside with this. Taking it on and off can be a little bit of a challenge, both putting the strap on the case, but also getting it on and off of your wrist. Generally, this two-piece is just more difficult to work with, less comfortable. But you know what? It has a nice design aesthetic. It makes this particular watch of mine look a little like steampunkish, which is a, is a nice look. I like it. But would not be my choice if I was to buy one of these straps. I do really like 
the single piece. Again, this is just much more flexible. It feels lighter, it feels more flexible, it feels softer in the hands. It just it feels like a proper canvas strap. And the tolerances on this one are much better. This slides in no problem, in and out, no problem. The tongue doesn't get near as much in the way. It's a lot longer, not as short, and just feels a million times better. And this one's just much easier to put on the wrist, mostly because of the tolerances with the loops, but even reached around sort of funny in the camera. See that slides in pretty easy and on. No problems with the tongue. Keepers aren't near as tight as it was on the 22. So those slide through pretty easy. And you can tell it's a high quality nylon strap, but just looks, fills, fits a little bit better when you're talking about canvas style. Again, you can see the brand name, Barrio, right there. I like their logo, pretty simple. On off, the tongue pulls real easy on this one again down. And when you pull it off, it doesn't want to snap back, which is what the tongue does on this one, which is probably one of the more irritating things about it. Tongue looks like it's a little, they probably are the same size, but it looks and feels a little bit shorter. I think it's just the type of, you know, material may be a little bit thicker and stiffer because it's the leather version, because it's 22 millimeter, not sure. So in terms of review, yeah, there's pros and cons. If I was to recommend one of these, I'd say go with the single piece. Now, again, I don't know if the single piece 22 and 24 millimeters have more thickness or feel a little bit more, you know, stiff from this get go compared to the 20 millimeter. But I would say if you really want to try one of these out, start with this one, see if you like it, see if you like the material, the durability. But if you want a two piece nylon style look, this is certainly something to try. But I actually found it more time consuming and actually more difficult to get the strap on this watch, even with the quick release spring bars than it was for me to just take my other strap off, pull out, put new spring bars in, put this through. This was much easier than the two piece, which is interesting. All of these straps, no matter which color you get, come with the silver colored buckle and keepers. Give you sort of more of an up close look at the material. You see I've been wearing it some, so you start to get a little bit of, you know, wear around it, whatnot, but it's gonna hold up for a long time, I would fully expect. You know, with these sort of a strap review, you may I, check, I might check in with this, you know, sometime in the future when I'm wearing it again to see how it's wearing over time. You know, a week is only a week. I wanna show people what's out there, but it's not necessarily like a long-term stress test, but this is a pretty, Durable material, so I expect it'll hold up over time. This does feel nice and sturdy, so if you want a nice, strong, sturdy strap, this is certainly the one. You can see I've been wearing it some. You get a little bit of wear against the case, again, because of that spring bar clearance. So I've not worn this one as much, just not as comfortable. So in terms of brands, there's gonna be things you like and don't like. I like the single piece, don't particularly like the two piece. I mentioned there are some different colors. There's black, there's this khaki brown color, there's some green, and so there's some variety there. What I found was these two, and even when I looked at the other ones, I think this nylon style strap like this is gonna go best with a black dial. As you can see, I've got these on two different black dials here, and the other watches I had that they looked all right on, you might've seen this in my last video when I did a wrist check, was I had the single piece strap on my Hampton Nanook, and I often have it on this blue aqua rubber, which goes well with the printing, the blue printing on the, on the dial. But again, a black dial, and this strap looked really good with that. Almost makes it look like a field watch, which is pretty neat. And then another watch I had that these straps kind of look good on is a low-cost watch, Timex Expedition. You might have seen this in earlier video stuff too, but this is a cheap chronograph watch that's nice to have around for you know around the house just kind of daily wear sort of scenarios or just when you feel like you want to wear a Timex you can see it has a canvas strap as well nylon strap not near as comfortable as this one this one's 10 times better so you again the black dial though most of these straps look like they're gonna fit black dial watches a lot better well, that's the overview of the Vario Cordura straps Glad I got the chance to take a look at them. This one will stay in my rotation. Um, this one might pass it along with a watch or something. Give someone else another shot at it. 
Maybe they have a case that fits it a little bit better than what I do. So there you go. Well, them's the pros and cons. I do prefer the single piece to the two piece. There's a variety of colors. They're about $30. And if you are interested in supporting, you know, a micro brand, it's got a pretty good reputation, both with their watches, which are often like Art Deco style. There's a new field watch coming. There's just lots of good stuff going on with some of these micro brands. Vario makes a lot of straps as well. It's also sort of where one of their main primary things, not just watches. And so I suggest giving them a try. They're worth trying out and hopefully you'll enjoy them. So thanks Ivan for sending these my way. For all you watching, subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram at watch underscore complications and check out the blog watchcomplications.com. See ya.